Hi, this is Stacy from Mini Crumbs Family Farm Homestead. I just wanted to let you know children are such a blessing. I have eight wonderful, sweet children I love with all of my heart. I'm going to show you a quick little picture of them. They're all sleeping. It's nighttime, and I'll read you some verses of how children are a blessing. This is my sweet oldest, Dylan. My sweet, precious Ethan. My beautiful Lillian. My sweetie Aiden, my handsome Evan, my precious Grayson, my beautiful Julian, and my beautiful Julian. Children are a gift from God. The Bible tells us repeatedly in His Word how all children are a gift from God. Every single life, every single child is a reward and blessing, whether they're bringing parents pride and joy or whether they're teaching us how to be more patient and forgiving. Children are a gift from God and a source for the growth of His kingdom here on earth. God knows that children can bring us closer to Him and help us grow our Christian character. Be, encouraging by the following Bible, be encouraged by the following Bible verses about children and how the Lord sees them. Third John one four, I have no greater joy than to hear that my children are walking in the truth. Genesis one twenty eight, God blessed them and said to them, Be fruitful and increase in number, fill the earth and subdue it, rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky and over every living creature that moves on the ground. Isaiah fifty four thirteen, All your children will be taught by the Lord, and great will be their peace. James 1, 17. Every good and patient gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the earth, lights who does not change like shifting shadows. John 16, 21. On behalf of a man, his, he pleads with God as one pleads for a friend. Mark 9, 37. Whoever welcomes one of these little children in my name, welcome me. And whoever welcomes me does not welcome me, but the, but the one who sent me. Mark 10, 14, when Jesus saw this, he was indigent. He said to them, let the little children come to me and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Matthew eighteen ten. see that you do not despise one of these little ones, for I tell you that their angels in heaven always see the faces of my Father in heaven. Proverbs seventeen six. children's children are a crown to the aged, and parents are the pride of their children. Proverbs 22, 6. Start children off in the way they should go, and even when they are old, they will not turn from it. Psalm 1, 13, 9. He settles, the children's, he settles the childless woman in her home as a happy mother of children. Praise the Lord. Psalms 27, 3 through 5. Children are a heritage from the Lord, offspring a reward from Him. Like heirs in the hands of a warrior are children born in one's youth. Blessed is the man whose quiver is full of them. They will not be put to shame when they contend with their opponents in court. Psalms 139, 13 through 16. For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place, when I was woven together in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw my unformed body all, all the days ordained for me were I written in your book before one of them came to be. Psalms 127 Unless the Lord builds the house, the builders labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the guards stand watch in vain. In vain you rise early and stay up late, toiling for food to eat, for he grants sleep to those he loves. Children are heritage from the Lord, offspring a reward from him. Like heirs in the hands of warrior are children born in one's youth. Blessed the man whose quiver is full of them, they will not be put to shame when they contend with the opponents in court. Sorry, I think I just read that one twice. Matthew 18, 1 through 6. Okay, sorry, Matthew 18, 1-6. At the time, the disciples came to Jesus and asked, 
Who then is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called a little child to him and placed a child among them. And he said, Truly, I tell you, unless you change and become like, like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Therefore, whoever takes the lowly position of this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me. If anyone causes one of these little ones, those who believe in me, to stumble, it would be better for them to have a large milestone hung around their neck and to be drowned in the depths of the sea. So I just want to end with, I want you, mother of large families, not to be discouraged. Do not worry what others say. It's between you and the Lord and your husband. And right here is proof that children are a blessing from the Lord. Don't, dis don't get discouraged. Be blessed. Um, I pray for my babies every single night. I thank the Lord every single day for the children he has blessed me with. And I pray over them. Make sure you pray over your children. Make sure you thank God for them. You know, don't take them for granted. Love them and hug them and snuggle and cuddle with them. Have a blessed night.